your AirPods can get gross and you need to clean them regularly. Today I'm gonna to show you how to clean your AirPods and your ear pods without damaging them. I'm also gonna show you some cheap cleaning tools that you can buy, which may help you keep your AirPods and ear pods clean. Before I get going, hit subscribe for more how-to videos from CNET. We're gonna use the official guidelines published by Apple on how to clean your AirPods, AirPods Pro, ear pods, and the charging case. On this page, you will also find guidance on how to clean AirPods Max, which I can't afford, so I'm gonna focus on AirPods and a wired set of ear pods, which I recently couldn't use on a long flight because of eighth inch adapter problems. Thanks again, Apple. The first thing on Apple's list says, don't run AirPods or AirPods Pro under running water. Water can seep into the crevices and most certainly will impede the audio quality of your AirPods or EarPods. And you most definitely don't want your audio impeded. Things can sound muffled and ruin your day. Instead, Apple suggests you use a soft, dry, lint-free cloth. Gently wipe away all the gunk and earwax that has built up on your AirPods over time until they are sparkly new again. Lint-free is key here because you don't want tiny pieces of lint attaching to the mesh covering of the microphone and speakers. Lint can impede your audio quality too, much like it impedes my iPhone's ability to charge every month. If you can't find a lint-free cloth lying around the house, then look into purchasing one. They're not too expensive. Apple even sells what they call a polishing cloth for $19, which is not cheap. Now the third bullet point on Apple's cleaning guidelines explains what to do if your AirPods were exposed to any chemicals that could potentially stain your EarPods or AirPods. Apple lists a ton of chemicals here, including soap, shampoos, conditioners, lotions, perfumes, solvents, detergents, acids, acidic foods, insect repellent, sunscreen, oil, or hair dye. If any of these products accidentally make contact with your AirPods, which is completely possible, then here's what Apple says to do. You can wipe them clean with a cloth slightly dampened with fresh water, and then dry them with a soft, dry, lint-free cloth. You must allow them to completely dry before placing them back in the charging case. Apple adds the next bullet point just to double down, do not attempt to use them until they are completely dry. Apple is very adamant about liquid getting into the AirPods or earbuds and clearly states to make sure not to get any liquid in the openings. If you look really closely at AirPods and EarPods, you will see tiny microphone and speaker meshes. These can get all gunked up with earwax and dust and need to be cleaned as well. Apple says the best way to clean these parts is with a dry cotton swab. You wanna be gentle and not push stuff into the speaker and microphone mesh but slowly and carefully try to get everything out without pushing too hard. The last bullet point is a warning not to use sharp objects because they could potentially damage the speaker or the microphone. Apple says not to use sharp objects or abrasive materials to clean your AirPods, AirPods Pro, or EarPods. Just stick with a dry lint-free cloth and a Q-tip and you should be good to go. Bling, see how clean and beautiful they are now? Now, Apple's guidelines on how to clean wired ear pods are almost exactly identical to how to clean AirPods, except for one minor difference. Apple says you can use a clean, soft, dry bristled brush to remove any debris from the microphone and speaker meshes on the ear pods. Other than the clean, dry, soft bristled brush, the rest of the guidelines are identical to the AirPods and AirPods Pro. Now, your case is another place that can collect dirt and oils from your skin, along with earwax buildup and general grossness. So it's a good idea to clean your AirPods case on the regular also. Here's how Apple says you should clean your AirPods charging case. Use a soft, dry, lint-free cloth to wipe down the charging case. If you want to disinfect, you can use a cloth that is slightly dampened with isopropyl alcohol. Apple says to make sure not to get any liquid inside the charging ports. Getting the charging ports wet could certainly damage the charging case, and these things are expensive, so be very careful. You can remove any debris from the lightning connector with a clean, dry, soft bristled brush. Much like the AirPods, Apple says not to use abrasive materials to clean the charging case. And finally, Apple says not to put anything in the charging ports to avoid damaging the metal contacts inside. And that's it. Now you got a shiny and clean charging case for your newly sanitized AirPods to live inside of. 
Apple has also published guidelines for cleaning the ear tips for the AirPods Pro, but I don't have a pair of those, but I imagine they can get incredibly disgusting. So I'm gonna leave a link on how to do that in the description of this video and call it a day. But to paraphrase, Apple says to use a soft dry lint free cloth and water. It clearly says not to use soap and to dry them completely before snapping them back on. There are some third party cleaning tools out there designed specifically to clean AirPods and EarPods. This little device is an earbuds cleaner for AirPods, otherwise known as a headphones cleaning pen for wireless earbuds by a company called Becky. It also looks like it doubles as an interrogation device in Star Wars. If you read about this item on Amazon, it does go against some of Apple's guidelines, but it does also possess a dry bristled brush for those mic and speaker meshes on the ear pods. So here's the AirPods cleaning tool. It comes in this little tube and then this is a little soft sponge. And here's the dry bristled brush. Then it has a sharp object on the end, which Apple does not recommend sticking into your wire meshes of your AirPods. Yeah, so this thing works pretty well to get gunk out of the speaker meshes. No, do not do that, no. It also has what is called a soft flocking sponge, which it says is for inserting into the charging case to clean it out. Apple says that's a no-no, but maybe the sponge makes it a bit less risky. I'm being very careful so I don't go down and touch the contacts, but it does fit perfectly inside the charging case. You can get out all the gunk, and I don't think it's gonna damage the contacts if it touches them, because it's very soft. Apple says you could use the soft dry bristle brush to clean the lightning connector on the charging case. You can also wash and reuse the cleaning pen multiple times, potentially saving money in the long term, not having to purchase lint-free cloths and cotton swabs. Well, that's how to clean your AirPods, AirPods Pro, EarPods, and the charging case. If you found this video helpful, then subscribe, like, and ring that bell for more how-to videos from CNET's massive YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments how you keep your stuff clean, and bye for now.